All right, I'm going to start with a number. 59%, 59%. I had to do that. I had to get that out of the way. I took French immersion in Canada and had to use it in a business context. So 59%. We spoke to 400 engineering decision making leaders. And what we found was 59%, or almost two thirds, say that they have insufficient engineering agility today. So what does that mean? That means that they essentially lack integrating business strategy to their tech initiatives, finding and retaining the right talent, and implementing modern tech stacks for their organization. Now, when we talk about modern tech stacks and innovation, we need to talk about Gen AI. Now, at ThoughtWorks, we're a global tech consultancy. We're also a backstage partner. We've been doing a lot of Gen AI work internally for ourselves, but also for our clients. And what we've learned from this work and from talking to over 400 engineering decision-making leaders is that if you don't have the engineering effectiveness fundamentals set up within your business, you will struggle with implementing new technologies such as Gen AI. So how do we know this? So we commissioned a survey with Forrester where we talked to these engineering leaders. And what we found was there are three engineering effectiveness fundamentals that everyone here should master if they want to be set up for success for the next wave of technology innovation coming down the market. So let's get into it. No. Number one, business agility. So we know that the market is moving faster than ever. There's you know, stronger customer demands for your product than ever before. So business agility must be at the forefront of your strategy. What does this mean? This means how are you tracking your technology initiatives and how are they laddering into your business goals that are going to actually make a difference for your business? More than 75% of the respondents that we've talked to agree that aligning software development priorities with business strategy is crucial for business agility. And we know that some of the benefits in include increased revenue, decreased time to market, and the increased ability to innovate within your organization. But you can't do this alone. You need number two, talent development. We all know that talent is crucial to achieve our engineering goals. Now, improving talent development and retention is even cri more critical for business agility. Now follow me on this for a second. What we found was engineering excellence is crucial for your business because it has a direct impact on the developer experience. If you're able to improve the developer experience, you will naturally have a higher retention rate within your organization. If you have a higher retention rate within your organization, you retain critical knowledge that your developers have. And if you retain that critical knowledge, you will actually improve speed to market within your roadmaps. Now, on the inverse, organizations that struggle to find and retain talent are actually six times more likely to have unpredictable timelines within their business. Last one. Tool simplicity. We know that we have to give developers the right tools, give them the right processes to maintain effective engineering and agility within the business. But we have to simplify this. From a tech standpoint, what we've seen is that organizations that have too many different engineering platforms were four times more likely to say their company has insufficient engineering agility today. And I'll throw one more stat at you today, and then we'll stop. The other, the other stat that we learned was over 82% of engineering decision-making leaders today are actually looking to implement an internal self-serve developer portal, that single pane of glass that will help you simplify your tool set process. So in closing, to set yourself up for Gen AI success or the next wave of innovation that your business is trying to um, embrace, you have to focus on three engineering excellence foundations based on our report and the survey that we conducted. Number one, align engineering teams with business results. Number two, advocate for improved developer experience within your organization. I think we're all here today, so we're, we're well on the way with that one. And number three, simplify the tooling and engineering process within your organization. 
that's all I got for you today. If anyone is interested in the Forrester and ThoughtWorks uh, study and report that we did with these 400 engineering leaders, uh, feel free to scan this QR code here. I think it's about 15 pages. Uh, we're all, we also have a booth out there, so feel free to stop by, meet with our team. We'd love to chat with you about what we've learned and uh, learn about what you guys are working on. So thank you very much. Thank you, Corey.